NASA's James Webb Space Telescope JWST, has caught a striking picture of a couple of stars encompassed by 17 wave-like rings. The star framework is comprised of two heavenly bodies, one of which, known as a wolf rayet star, is reasonable if fated to end its presence by imploding into a super-thick dark opening. wolf rayet stars live unquestionably brutal and generally short lives. They are brought into the world with a mass the identical to multiple times that of our sun. In any case, throughout a huge number of years, they strongly remove quite a bit of their mass into the encompassing circumstellar climate. Until this point, about 600 of these intriguing stars have been found. The JWST as of late caught a picture of the star framework wolf Ray at 140, in which one of these mass-shedding stars is circling in a twofold framework close by a body, with a mass multiple times that of our Sun. When at their most far off, a scope of 1.9 billion miles isolates the two stars. Notwithstanding, when like clockwork, their circles carry the two tremendous radiant bodies, to inside a distance of only 93 million miles of one another, somewhat more than the normal space among Earth and our home star. Right now, quick streaming floods of particles impacting out from the surfaces of the stars, which aggregately are known as heavenly breezes, bang into the mass of gas and carbon being pushed off by the wolf rayet. This material is packed and changed into dust by the constant attack of the heavenly breezes, consequently making the ring soar by the JWST in the current day. The creators of another review, distributed in the diary Nature Stargazing, accept that the rings have had the option to safeguard their distinct shape, thanks to the tension of the heavenly breezes that made them, which actually clear out any flotsam and jetsam that could upset their design. Proceeding being imaged by Webb, Cosmologists utilizing ground-based telescopes had just had the option to recognize two residue rings encompassing the parallel framework. Notwithstanding, the sharp infrared capacities of the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which is fit for noticing moderately cool items against the setting of room, uncovered a more complete perspective on the scene. We're taking a gander at north of 100 years of residue creation from this framework, remarks lead creator of the new review Ryan Lau, of the Public Science Establishment's Neulab. The picture additionally shows exactly the way in which delicate this telescope is. Previously, we were simply ready to see two residue rings, utilizing ground-based telescopes. Presently we see no less than 17 of them. As Palau and his co-creators, the rings we find in the new picture were logical made throughout the around 100 and 30 years preceding the point that the light left the framework. Each ring marks long-term period, as solid as a grandiose metronome. Nonetheless, this is presumably not the full story of Wolf Ray at 140, as there are logical fainter rings past the external limit, that shouldn't be visible, even by the strong look of NASA's most recent leader telescope. In July, a baffling new picture of a far-off outrageous star framework encompassed by strange, concentric mathematical runs had even cosmologists scratching their heads. The image, which seems to be a sort of inestimable thumbprint, came from the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's freshest lead observatory. The web quickly illuminated with hypotheses and hypothesis. Some on the wild periphery even guaranteed, as proof for outsider megastructures of obscure beginning. Fortunately, our group at the College of Sydney had proactively been concentrating on this very star, known as WR140, for over 20 years, so we were in prime situation to utilize physical science to decipher how the situation was playing out. Our model, distributed in nature, makes sense of the weird cycle by which the star delivers, the astonishing example of rings found in the web picture, itself presently distributed in nature cosmology. The insider facts of WR140 Called a wolf ray at star WR140 These are among the most outrageous stars known. In an uncommon yet lovely showcase, they can once in a while discharge a crest of residue into space extending many times the size of our whole nearby planet group. The radiation field around Wolf Ray A is so extraordinary, 
residue and wind are cleared outwards at large number of kilometers each second, or around 1% the speed of light. While all stars have heavenly breezes, these overachievers drive something more like a heavenly tropical storm. Basically, this breeze contains components, for example, carbon that stream out to shape dust. W140 is a very rare example of Dusty Wolf Rayet stars tracked down in a double framework. It is in circle with another star, which is itself a huge blue supergiant with its very own fierce breeze. Just a modest bunch of frameworks like WR140 are known in our entire system, yet these limited handfolk convey the most surprising and wonderful gift to stargazers. Dust doesn't just stream out from the star to frame a foggy ball as may be normal, rather it frames just in a cone-formed region where the breezes from the two stars impact. Since the two-fold star is in consistent orbital movement, this shock front must likewise pivot. The dirty crest then, at that point, normally gets wrapped into a twisting, similarly as the fly from a pivoting garden sprinkler. W140, in any case, has a couple of additional stunts at its disposal layering more rich intricacy into its gaudy presentation. The two stars are not on roundabout but rather curved circles, and besides dust creation turns on and off ramblingly as the paired approaches and leaves the place of nearest approach. A practically amazing model. By displaying this large number of impacts into the three-layered calculation of the residue crest, our group followed the area of residue highlights in three-layered space. Via cautiously labeling pictures of the growing stream taken at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii, one of the world's biggest optical telescopes, we found our model of the extending stream fit the information flawlessly. With the exception of one nego. Close and right close to the star, the residue was not where it should be. Pursuing that minor lona ended up leading us right to a peculiarity up until recently never got on camera. The force of light. We realize that light conveys energy, and that implies it can apply a push on issue known as radiation pressure. The result of this peculiarity, as issue drifting at fast around the universe, is apparent all over. Yet, it has been a strikingly troublesome cycle to get in the demonstration. The power blurs rapidly with distance, so to see material being sped up you really want to follow precisely the development of issue in major areas of strength for a field. This speed increase ended up being the one missing component in the models for WR140. Our information didn't fit on the grounds that the extension speed wasn't consistent, the residue was getting a lift from radiation pressure. Getting that interestingly on camera was a new thing. In each circle, maybe the star spreads out a monster sail, made of residue. At the point when it discovers the serious radiation gushing from the star, similar to a yacht getting a blast, the dusty sail takes an unexpected jump forward. Smoke rings in space. The ultimate result of this physical science is arrestingly delightful. Like a perfect timing toy, WR140 puffs out unequivocally etched smoke rings with that regular interval circle. Each ring is engraved with this superb material science written in the detail of its structure. We should simply stand by and the growing breeze swells the residue shell like an inflatable until it is large enough for our telescopes to picture. Then, at that point, after eight years, the pair returns in its circle, and another shell seems indistinguishable from the one preceding, developing inside the air pocket of its ancestor. Shells continue to collect like a spooky arrangement of monster settling dolls. Be that as it may, the genuine degree to which we had hit on the right calculation to make sense of this captivating star framework was not brought back to us until the new web picture showed up in June. Here were not a couple, yet in excess of 17 wonderfully etched shells, everyone an almost precise reproduction settled inside the one going before it. That implies the most established, furthest shell apparent in the web picture probably being sent off around 150 years before the freshest shell, which is still in its outset and speeding up away from the radiant sets of stars driving the physical science at the core of the framework. With their terrific tufts and wild firecrackers, 
The Wolf Ray have conveyed one of the most fascinating and complicatedly designed pictures to have been delivered by the new Webb telescope. This was one of the principal pictures taken by Webb. Cosmologists are as eager and anxious as ever, sitting tight for what new ponders this observatory will radiate down to us. Unusual particles twirl around supermassive dark openings, James Webb Space Telescope finds. NASA's notable new observatory has spotted astounding mixtures around supermassive dark openings. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has distinguished carbon-bearing particles called polycyclic fragrant hydrocarbons, PARs, in the focuses of three dynamic universes, where researchers had expected these atoms couldn't get by. Intriguingly, the perceptions likewise propose that the radiation nearby the supermassive dark openings in these worlds has changed the general properties of the PARs, which could convolute a key strategy space experts use to assess star development and could likewise influence their value as organic structure blocks. Ismail Garcia Burnt, an astrophysicist at Oxford College in the UK, drove a gathering of stargazers who have examined perceptions of three dynamic universes accumulated by JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. The three systems are NGC 6552, which is 370 million light-years from Earth in the group of stars Draco, NGC 7319, that is one of the five universes in the popular Stefans, Puntet nearly 311 million light-years away in Pegasus, and NGC 7469, which is likewise in Pegasus a ways off of around 200 million light-years. PARs are particles portrayed by rings of carbon molecules. These atoms are exceptionally normal in the universe, found wherever from far-off worlds to comets in our own planetary group. Their omnipresence makes them valuable potential structure blocks forever, however it additionally makes them significant tracers for star development. PARs transmit emphatically at infrared frequencies discernible by Mary when they are enlightened by the bright radiation in starlight, so for the most part, where cosmologists distinguish PARs this way they should rest assured there are hot, youthful stars close by. Garcia Burns' point was to decide if PAR discharge in the thick, bright rich climate at the focal point of a functioning cosmic system was equivalent to PAR emanations in more quiet star-framing areas in the twisting arms of worlds. While stars can frame in the centers of dynamic cosmic systems, the course of gas falling onto a supermassive dark opening can likewise deliver downpours of bright light that make the PARs gleam. Past models had anticipated that the brutal radiation around the supermassive dark opening at the center of a functioning cosmic system would really obliterate all PAR particles. All things being equal, Mary found that PARs were ample in the focal areas of each of the three worlds contemplated. In any case, the perceptions showed that the outflow was coming from bigger and electrically non-partisan PAR atoms, demonstrating that radiation had without a doubt killed more modest, electrically charged PARs. The bigger PAR particles might have endured on the grounds that they were safeguarded by thick, encompassing billows of atomic gas, the group conjectured. The deficiency of the more modest, electrically charged PARs is an issue for space experts utilizing these mixtures to follow star development, since star framing districts are ordinarily more extravagant in electrically charged PARs. Yet, assuming these are obliterated in the centers of dynamic cosmic systems, space experts can't follow where stars may shape. The subsequent stage is to break down a bigger example of dynamic universes with various properties, Garcia Byrne said in an explanation. This will empower us to more readily comprehend how PAR atoms may do and which are their particular properties in the atomic district of galaxies. Such information is critical to involving PARs as an exact apparatus for portraying how much star arrangement in worlds and how systems advance over the long haul.